Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign and a new series on this channel which we are going to go with Old World Blues A to Z in which we will start with 215th on a historical but we're playing it with Overboss, Marianne and down on our luck. The wasting can be hard on those unready to survive its trials. A repentance through labor. When rebellion came to fire off the field, the soldiers of New Canaan were there to put an end to it, crushing the resistance and restoring order to the city. In the aftermath, however, the city was left with a question of what to do with the rebels that had survived the battle. Summer executions would have been against everything the Canaanites stood for, so instead it was decided that the defeated would need to repent and repay the community for their sins as such. The 215th chain gang was formed. It was put to work repairing and rebuilding the city of Jericho, as well as building new roads, digging for new wells, working in the workshops of artisans. Um... Industry specialization, 55%. I like that one most. Rumors of the Old World. Whispers of a place. Whispers of a treasure. Also, like I said, this is a new series for or Old World Blues A to Z, which was recommended to me after I was watching and recommended by a bunch of you guys, but also uh, after watching ISP's A to Z and Vanilla Hoy 4. So I figured, why not? But the treasures of TV Town. The uh, secret of Channel 4 of Carousel. It will be ours. Yes, it will. Even though we're probably going to get beaten up, whatever. whatever. We can tributize people, huh? Tributize all of them. Oh, hello. But the Road Warriors, they rejected us. Ah, TV Town Tributize for now. Sons of Kaga reject us. Reavers. I feel quite rejected. But the Road Warriors. The Chain Gang's labor will continue on sp a pace until the night the Thunderbirds came. He and the rest of the 80s ransacked the cities, arriving in a Grand War Caravan overrun the defenders with little difficulty. Their motors echoed through the streets as a convoy smashed through the freshly rebuilt city that the 215th had labored on so long to build up. In the chaos, the chain gang broke away, attacking and evading their handlers before dashing away into the darkness. The aides ignored the fleeing prisoners, and on their way out, the gang was able to catch up a crate of rocket launchers. Not bad. The warden's armory, a junk dealer's caravan. Ooh, that's probably the best one to choose. Um, we get caps, but scrap metal's not bad, so we have not a lot of scrap. You know what? I'm gonna go with that. Because right now we will have to fight the sons of Kaga. We're a pain in the butt to fight. They do have a lot of infantry armor, but we do have. 40 piercing because we have little rocket launchers so not like anti-tanks normal anti-tank but little rocket launcher so uh hacking terminals <laughs> let's do derelict raider gear first some raiders long ago used to prowl this place the reason we can't think through weapons they left they left behind and we have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well uh leadership vacuum out of the exodus from jericho the 215 found themselves adrift lacking both leadership and a plan to go where to go next this was when a woman named marianne made her move She'd been a thief before finding herself trapped as an indentured servant, a slave in everything but name due to exorbitant debts. When the 80s attacked, she took advantage of the chaos to strangle her debt holder, Anton, in his sleep and throw her lot in with the 215. Marianne then called in as many favors as she could to practically become the leader of the chaotic prison gang overnight. With the knowledge she gained working in Jericho and half-remembered legends of mine, she steered the former warriors of Fairfield westward towards the valleys around the Sierra Mountains. Esmeralda was nice enough, but others had arrived recently as well, hoping to make a home of it or claim whatever treasure it held. From somewhere in the valley emanated a broadcast, still coming through to the TVs, depicting strange mechanical people living out a halting but idyllic existence. Like the other two had arrived, Marianne and her crew's curiosity was piqued. The rivals in this pursuit were fueled by self-righteousness, religious fervor, or sp spiteful hatred. But the 215th have something they don't. A sense of humor, a complete lack of scruples. Well, we have quite a bit of war sport already. I do want to get more stability, because that will help us out even more. So a sense of humor, because we're very humorous here. And I do want to go to war as fast as we can, so if you want to buy the followers of Apocalypse, no, no. Hacking terminals. There's an old production here, uh, uh, network long here ago. By hacking into some terminals, we can try to reboot it, configure the old factories, and make the tools we need. Um, tax them. Let's see what happens with that. And placate them. No. Divert the supplies, yes. Raid them, and seize a fort, because we get a civvy when we do that too. Yes, a CV and we'll get some manpower back, because we just used some. Call for a raid, and we lose 5% weekly stability, which is insane. Uh, we'll see what happens with TV Town, but let's read some more, too. Uh, hacking terminals, of course, but blowing up debris. Followers rejected, goodbye, we did it. We did well. Bull, maybe bear? Lots of junk around here, let's make some space. Shooting up tribals. God, I love shooting up tribals. Kaga's a jerk, Kaga's a jerk, anyways. A normal mine for boys going to blast his booty. Well, I guess a good bit of loot, too. Fuel tactics? We found... An old magazine. Let's try to put this ta th put the tactics to in it to use. Well, it looks like there's at least a hundred guns in the stockpile. This looks like it could get last us for a good while. Big battles. City where those weapons we can make more. Um, we're gonna need probably this, but we'll do this anyways. And then cash, caps, sash. 
Without a true bank consistent in the Wasteland, many are forced to leave their captain and random little stash around the Wasteland. We're lucky to find a few on our last patrol. Nice. I will look at this one as well. And they broke in tribute. Uh, I wonder, can we actually do this? Can we actually raid them? Can we text you guys too? So we had to just raid them like normal. Um, all Everyone's available for border war. I want to wait first. How many, do we have any guns? No, we're completely out. We're trying to make two divisions as well. This is our divisions. Six in combo with with anti-tank, but you know what? I guess we will see. All right, everyone. So now, we are here having a, a time as we're doing more field tactics. Uh, we've broken into the TK Junction, but these guys are heading down here too, which is not good. But you might be able to keep them in place here. Uh, not really, maybe. Uh, get down there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, just in time. Good. Hopefully they can all. It is two divisions right there, which does suck, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, How many guns are we out? We might need a do this to share the wealth a little bit. Maybe force defense maybe for now. Just because it's not looking very good for us right now. Uh, they might start attacking us even more, but in the meantime, even though we don't have enough weaponry, what we could do is maybe throw some fire teams on our guys. Maybe some demo teams. Hello. Oh, they're just fine. It's fine whatever. We have 182 political power. Pretty good. I want to do promise of loot, but I don't want her division organization as we're attempting to defend currently. So we're going to grab... As much as I like this guy, we're going to switch to this guy later. I want to get Stubborn Dude, because more entrenchment, more division on division defense on core territory, even though this would be very good as well. Um, scientific Devotion. Land Doctrine, that'd be very, that's very strong to actually get. But we're going to get this guy first, because <clears throat> we need it. We really, really could use it. Uh, they do have Power Armor too, which does suck as well. So, Reclamation Authority, very nice. And after that one, oh, come on. You should be able to hold better than this. Come on, god dang it. Um, we don't have enough army speed for anything here. I want to throw in demo teams or at least fire teams, but we'll see. What if we did that? Will that do anything? No? Um, what else? Also, we're doing uh, conventional warfare. Oh, gliders, why not? You know, I played as these guys before. They were ridiculously strong. Alright, poop you out. We need you out for right now. This is so dumb. A huge power struggle here. Oh my goodness. Now you gotta hold. And you get to do basically die. Ah, this is crap. Um you hold. Yeah, this is this is tough. It's very tough. When I played as the Sons of Kaga, it was very difficult too. As a Kaga, so. Stop it. Stop going down there, god dang it. Stop it. Stop it. One, two, three, four, five, six divisions. How are we supposed to compete with that? Even though we can pierce them, it means literally nothing. You know what? You can just go to Old Bishop. You should be able to if they want to do that type of stuff. I'd love to do an encirclement here, but we just can't quite do that. Can we? Go back to the Kettle Junction. Um, let's go and grab this guy. Is there anything else for defense here? 5% of recruit population is insane. That's actually very good. We want her to defense. Raiders of the Skies, Raider of the Seas. I did grab this guy, gets more political power, which would be very good for the rest of the campaign. Um, we are a petty gang conscription, which is actually pretty good. More organization, recruitable population, better supply, supply consumption, better stability and research speed. That's actually very, very good. I like that a lot. Our makes speed would be very, very good to get, though. Let's grab that first. <clears throat> so you move up here, go down there, see what happens. Um, should be able to hold. Cap stash, of course. And now we're doing our focuses, so we'll get extra political power for now. And also, like, this is not core territory, so that's why we're struggling a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We might be able to get old bishop, maybe. Just gotta get more army XP. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. Because we can do this. I'll close out of that one for now. Close out of this one for now. Raids. Attack some, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Give him a little bit of extra love right there. No, I don't have a ton of manpower, but daily gain is so good. And we broke over. Do they attack us? Yeah, you guys go in there. That'd be good. So now we have 10. Now, out of everything we have, we have a little bit more demo equipment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Than this, because this requires 15. This requires 15. So we have this. We actually might be able to do okay. Give him just a little bit more of that oomph push. 
Um, what else? You are doing okay. Help him out. See what we can do. We've lost 80 versus their 52, but having more demo teams would be nice. They're spreading themselves out too, which is great. You guys go down there. You get a little bit of help as well. See what we can do. Or we could go right there and spoil them right like that. We'll see. We shall see. What else? Yeah, I'm looking at our organization just yet. Two divisions. We should we try to attack here too, but, you know, whatever. 87, 88, come on, you can break them. If you break this division fast enough, then you just focus on one more division over there, which will still be very good. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Alright, you know what? Let's hold. Don't do that. And now we're going to attack again. There you go. See? Not bad. And once they start moving divisions around, we'll start attacking them and cut these divisions off. Cut them off like limbs. And now they're going to circle us as well, but whatever. Alright, so now... This is going to be a bad idea. Everyone's going to attack. Everyone's going to have to attack. Keep these guys in place and such. Gliders. Good, good, good. I love gliders. You know, what if you just stop attacking? And they don't move. That's fine with us. We might be able to win here. One over here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And we'll throw on um, <clears throat> the other teams next. Also, steering Bowie's... Hey, he's level 2 already. Nice. Come on, win right here. Come on. Nice. Alright. This would be so good to get right now. But we could also get Welcome to Army. I want more attack. Am I willing to hurt our defense for more attack? Probably. I have to go with this guy. At least eventually. Slave Flogger. More Alpha would be nice. It's only 10% though. Mm, let's go grab Tolchitsky maybe for now. It's fine. Let's equipment. Very nice. Now we're 41 there. Fire teams. That'd be good. Come on. This combat sucks. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Oh, man. <clears throat> really? We can't do anything. This is so bad. Oh, my God. Just finish them off. Jesus Christ. Why is this so god awful? At least we're lucky that they're not moving. Why is conventional warfare take so god awfully long? Um, I want you to go right there if you can. Both of you go right there. If you go right there, that'd be good too. No one circle broken lodge. Hopefully, kill them all that way. Come on, and we'll do that too. Um, plane. Yeah, let's get that one too. Nice. That's good. Defender spot. You guys stay right there. We'll force the attack into Broken Lodge. Though some will find a way to not be able to do anything, but whatever. Go into Broken Lodge. Oh my god. For the love of god. This is so crappy. Keep them in place. There you go. They're not moving, and I don't know how they're getting any sort of supply since they have nothing over there. But still, you're not allowed to lose. Hold up for now. Get more organization, assimilation, give it to war. Finally, get more max entrenchment. Come on, so stupid. Keep hurting them. Don't lose, come on, Jesus Christ. How can we not pierce them? Uh, 
Oh man. Capital's gone. You should easily be able to take these guys out. I mean, there's no question about it. Yeah, this is... This is not great. But the dad's designed it like this, and we're going to keep pushing this way. It. I don't care at this point. Kill them all off. We're still lucky that they're not moving, though. Super, super lucky. How can you not win? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with these people? Uh, what's X? Let's see. Get more attack. 5% is like nothing, but, you know. At this point, I don't trust the devs too much. Like, with some of these nations. Some of these nations are really... Mm. And I struggle with the Sons of Kaga. Like, trying to fight the AI sometimes is... They are just really stupid, but like, I really don't know sometimes what the devs are thinking. And there we go, three divisions. No, they have like no organization. There you go. We got lucky that they're not doing anything. Thank you, incompetent AI. For right now, all we have are two national spirits, so yeah. <clears throat> Hurry up and kill them. Jesus Christ. This should not take this long. Those divisions suck. Like, the Sons of Kaga divisions are garbage. Hot, hot, hot garbage. So I've played as them before, because it's not fun. <laughs> At least in the early stages. This campaign will get a lot better once we actually are able to do anything, but... Oh, we're currently not there yet, though. Alright, so you guys get the butts over here. Guy's exhausted, he's lucky, so not bad, perceptive. Got a really good field marshal too. He's perceptive, he's intelligent, and he's a fortune finder. So got pretty lucky with that. We're just gonna throw on light touch anyways, for more attack defense. Be good. And we're just gonna attack for uh, broken lodge. Give we got some time, and three, two, one, let's go in. Five divisions struggling against one, which is impossible. Like, it's literally impossible, because when I did this as Sons of Kaga before, which I'll play again, um, you couldn't win. You just could not win without cheating, as far as I remember. So this was, it's just ridiculously difficult fighting Nevada here, but at least we can move on. Establishing a foothold. With the in victory, we can expand out from our bunker to solidify our presence in the valley. Junkies, supply runs, infrastructure. Medicines, junk rounds, common with three. Oh. Huh. Training vagabonds. With enough work and a few lessons, even though homeless can be put to use. Supply runs. Hop in, we're grabbing guns. Cleaning streets. As Marauders look this good in centuries. Clearing out junkies. Some junkies from the Reno drug trade moved into some homes down here in Esmeralda. They aren't doing us any good. Let's kick them out so we can have more space. Glock stockpiles. Gaston, Glock's finest right here in Esmeralda. Buy now. 499.99. New Glock number 15 auto pistol. G17, uh, 429.99. New Tech 9mm. M9, 359.99. New round black, uh, backed fleck. M F86, 859.99. New bullpen, 8mm. Man, stock, company stockpile. Now, this is a gun. And growing crops. A man has got a cultivation in this chapter. I'm going to talk about how to grow crops in your land. First up is the plant itself. This one's the easiest type of plants to cultivate, as you only need a little water and some sunlight. It's also very easy, easy to grow flowers on top of it. The plant's called Xander root. It's basically a kind of root vegetable, as far as I know, unlike banana yucca, which requires lots of care. Xander root can be grown without any special maintenance. Rural medicines. New American Medical Journal number 443. Exit from surviving in the wilderness. The next day, we went out again and explored the upper reaches of the valley. We saw many wild animals. Thankfully, I knew what they looked for in order to keep the wounds I have taken from growing infected. I used to call flower, red leaves with a spiked thorn, and crush it before applying it on the wound itself. I could feel the pain begin to recede as I was able to fight off the infection and the gash. We made a camp at a small creek near a small cave. Esmeralda cigars. Esmeralda cigars. All in all, natural blend of notes from artificial tobacco with a strong, fruity aroma. It's available in three different sizes, but the largest is the size you will smoke. It was one of Esmeralda's only exports, but remnants of a few lone supply crates filled with these cigars are still abound in the part of the wasteland and raiding up north. Maybe someone left some goods up there for us. And now, everyone, we are here having a good time with the Guardians. Uh, losses, 340 versus 962. 
Um, I've already gone ahead and finished up all the focus here, but we can do expanding our footholds. With this, a hold deep. This, this well, uh, with a hold this deep in the Esmeralda Valley, few will be able to challenge or claim here. So, um, yeah, and we've actually made an instrument. We made quite a few divisions too. We're looking okay in terms of supplies or equipment, at least. Three uh, infantry divisions being made. Mariana's boys. We got all these guys over here too. More attack. More population. Uh, Amos Andrews as well, of course, more max defense, or more defense on Division Corps territory, more max entrenchment. Um, we went to Welcome Army, we've got Raphael, we've got Hiram, we've got Robert Doubleday. That's a really nice, cool last name, Doubleday. But, you know, whatever. Um, in the meantime, we did, as you just saw, made an instrument, the Sheev joined the NCR, oh boy. And we're struggling here just a little bit. Oh, the brother's down here too, hey, that's not ideal, but whatever. Lost L, huh? Sucks to be them then, because hopefully we'll make them lose their division. Sucks to be them then. I gotta stay there, son. Son, you gotta stay there. You literally have to stay there. You help out here. They wanna force the attack? Alright, we'll, we'll force defense, we'll force the attack. You're not allowed to lose. That's right, get that attrition going. That's right, go right here too. Start doing stuff like that? Sure, why not? Oh, you don't like that, huh? Nice. And they'll attack the, this division as well. Go in, might as well. At this point. Go here, one go here, one go here, and one go right here. Because they're all very weak. And more manpower, yes please. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Everyone just go ahead. You guys stay there, you guys go right here. You wrap around and cut them all off. That'd be quite nice. Can't go to every cap for the army just yet. Over here, actually. Let's grab you. That'd be quite ideal. You know what? You go to the scrap heap as well. See if you can just link up, you know. Take the VPs. Ooh, they're going to get bent back. It's not good. Whatever. And now they should be cut off. Come on, god dang it. Nope. There we go. We got him. Not bad. Definitely better than the Sons of Kaga, but my god, I hate the Sons of Kaga with such a burning passion, it's not even funny. But, let's go and do this too. Spending foothold, very good. And do this as well. Train those guys, because we definitely going to need to train them. Thank you very much. Anything else around here? Not too much. Restore the Crescent Dunes project, even though Helios 1 is known as many, too many, <clears throat> as a near-mythical source of power for the Mojave Wasteland. It's not the only one of its kind in Nevada. The Crescent Dunes Solar Energy Project, though not as grand or efficient as Helios 1, stands to be a major source of energy for anyone able to hold and operate it. Be wise to invest in the project's operations. Sure, why not? Coordinated assault, nice. Now let's go to Super Warfare. I wanted to go with symmetric, asymmetric warfare for land auction, but it just there's a lot of militia. We're not really using militia or enforcers. Maybe some other time, but for now, probably not. Clearing the Rad Scorpion Hovel or Hovel. A group of rabid, rabid Rad Scorpions have made themselves at home in our territory. We can drive them out. A local waste center has offered to help us in this task. Following the signal. Did anyone care? So, I'll watch as a band of marauders lay siege to this once peaceful little town. Will 411 be able to survive the onslaught? Let's find out. The radios and TVs blurted out on repeat. Strange little infomercials, I seem to no longer be speaking of the past, but of the present. Before the show, Carousel was thought to be just a curiosity, but now, now it means something a bit more. We need to get to the bottom of this. Travel to this TV town where it's being processed and try to put an end to this strange threat. Absolutely. Nice. Economic perception is great. Apologize for being ragey earlier, but you know what? I, I get frustrated. And if you follow this channel at all, you know I get frustrated relatively easily. I just want things to work, man. I just want things to work. That's all I want. But, so far, infantry divisions are looking not bad. Really, really not bad at all. So with all that, uh, metal cash is not bad. We read this one. Strange communications. As much as we march deeper in Esmeralda, we're finding more and more signs of something out in this place. Could it be the treasure we are searching for? Strange robots. We have found some robots on the outskirts of our land. They seem lost, unsure where to go or what to do. No reason we can't scrap them for parts. Legacy the Wanamingo. It seems the horde of Wanamingo was responsible for wiping out the raiders that used to live here. Few remember what these creatures even look like in life, but their bones are so terrifying enough to inspire fear in most men. Old Raider Hideout. Found a lot of one of the one of the hideouts of the old raider gang that live here. Let's clean out their old guns and use them ourselves. <clears throat> Kicking bad habits. Drugs are expensive this far away from Reno. That's true. Let's see what we can do about having our troops kick some of the bad habits. Metal cash. An old style or old military side, it's some metal we can repurpose for our own ends. There are a lot of caches and surplus goods here, which could be used to make a simple fortress. Valuable hollow tapes. Found some valuable hollow tapes in an old stash. They, the data is encrypted, but you should be able to pawn it off for some caps. Nice. Wonder sciences. Ooh. Flux drifts. 
Claim in TV Town? That would be good to do as well. Oh, we get a research slot. Jake was proof. Daniel Jacob, before the Great War, was famous for providing the proof to the decades old theorem related to the limits of energy storage. The proof explains the way to transfer energized quarks to quantum null curves, saving space exponentially. While this proof would have been later purchased by the Big MT, we found a copy of the original on a hard drive within the TV Town Central Mainframe. Android scavenging? All the living inhabitants of TV Town turn out to be androids. Strange artificial humanoids with glass skin and powerful engines. While the act of taking out the town seems to have caused most of them to shut down, we were able to locate a few semi working robots to scavenge for parts. Here we too. Uh, TV Town is a miraculous place of wonder and science and the potential of the future, yet it's not our destiny to stay here. We have our own goals to push forward and our own future to claim. Flux Drift Engines? Uh, flux Drift is a special form of production in which the movement of magnetic gases through a concentrated turbine produces vast amounts of energy. Here in TV Town, there's large quantities of unusual engines. Oh, wow, that's really good, too. Wonder Sciences. Here in TV Town, there's a science of some that I only thought of a dream. We could earn a killing off the treasure here. Android skin armor. Ooh, oh, nice. One of the things we were able to take was a heart and personal skin off the corpses of the androids. I love ripping skin off. When used as a makeshift armor, masks, and blades, the skin served just as good as steel and automated production. A small but focused concentration of automated factories linger in the heart of TV Town. It's relatively simple to exchange the blueprints that the machines use to configure figure out what they make. But let's end this episode by killing off TV Town. Or, whoops, maybe we shouldn't be training. Whatever. Um, before we kill them off, though, let's take a look at their, uh, history. Ooh, their director's vision. So they're suppressed, huh? Oh, good God, that's terrible for them. Oh, boy. I gotta play TV Town. And we will, especially with this A to Z, uh, Old World Blues. Uh, style of series still. So. Battle Pooper Dam already in 2277. And we won in TV Town. I love it. Um, we're going to go to war with next. Vipers? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I'm not ready for the 80s. No one's ready for the 80s. No one's ever ready for the 80s. Why don't we go to war with the Sky Reavers? Do we have anything for the Sky Reavers here? Maybe not. Which means they would be an excellent choice for us to maybe try to take on, perhaps, in the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue exploring what the 215th has in store for Nevada. Thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.